Jamie Little, who joins us now, had a chance to sit down with NASCAR President Steve Phelps to talk about all of the new things on the horizon and what NASCAR really thinks of the direction the sport is moving in. Well, Shannon, Steve Phelps has found himself at the forefront of change over the past year, whether it was banning the Confederate flag, it was handling social justice issues, or it was planning the biggest schedule shakeup we've seen in decades. He's been right there in the front. And needless to say, he's excited about the direction NASCAR's going. We are in Daytona Beach, <laughs> which is great. Gotta love it. They're fired up, too. So here we are. Welcome to 2021. We're officially in Speed Week. What did it take you and your team just to get to this point over the off season? Well, listen. I, for starters, it's great to see you again, Jamie. Um, it's been uh, it's been a journey, right? So 2020 was uh, it was hard. It was difficult. We stopped in March in Atlanta, then starting again in Darlington. A lot of things needed to happen. Health and safety folks from state and local governments, making sure that we've had our competitors safe, and then getting back to racing with fans. And as we looked at the back half of the year, it was very similar to what I think the first quarter of this year is gonna look like. So still COVID protocols, still limited numbers of fans, unfortunately, in the stands, but we need to be safe, right? We need to make sure we get the racing in. It's important that we do it safely and smartly. NASCAR has been the leader through all of this. We had our whole industry come together, race teams, drivers, and created a plan and then executed that plan. And it just felt like a tremendous accomplishment. It was incredible to be the first sport back and then everybody's watching because they were yeah. just tired of watching reruns. <laughs> That's for sure. I think the cool thing for us though is with Fox, we were able to put on the pro invitationals, the iRacing, which was awesome. We had 8 million people watch Two million of those eight million had never watched a NASCAR event. And then the cool thing is they actually came and then watched NASCAR when it was time to get back on the racetrack. Over the years, there have been people that have been quick to criticize NASCAR and just say they're set in their ways, that they're not willing to change and embrace all. We saw a whole lot of change over the course of 2020 and what happened with Bubba, but it really all kind of stemmed from banning the Confederate flag. It was really something that we needed to come together as an industry to decide. And then having the courage to be able to say, you know, it's time. I think the net result will be a significant number of new fans that are going to come and sample NASCAR. We've seen celebrities, athletes, others say, you know, hey, I didn't think NASCAR was for me. Well, you know what, it is for me. And I'm excited to be a new fan. And you see, you know, whether it's Alvin Kamara or Rod Pollard or whomever, they're really excited to be part of this sport. It is a welcoming environment. It is. Change is exciting. And this year is going to be a year of change. So what are you looking forward to most about 2021? There's something for everyone in NASCAR now, and I think that's the most exciting thing for me. So is every fan going to love every single race? every weekend they won't but it's our job to make sure we're putting on the best racing we can and steve credits the entire nascar industry for the success they found in navigating the pandemic last year and the way that they handled the social justice issue shannon this might just be the greatest season of all time we got daddy defending daytona we got Joey, Kevin, and the all-time fan favorite. I'm just here so I don't get fined. The best season ever. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.